can't believe I had to cut this thing up. There's no seat Yeah, belts. no, no belt. I'm used yet. to that. This thing just wants to just light up the wheels and just go. I smile. <laughs> oh, yeah. Newport Beach, California. Hey. Ooh, it's chilly out here. We, we got Taco Bell. We got wood. We got wood. Mike. On the road. We're going to Ontario, eh? Rob Dom was nice enough to invite us to his shop to do some trailer repairs. Well, he doesn't know about the trailer repairs. Oh, shh. He, he thinks we're just coming there to work on the truck. We're cutting our, our fender flares, by the way. It's unrelated to the incident. Uber's here. Yeah, that was a, that was a, we hug her on here. You know, no, we don't, Donnie. Oh look at that shirt, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the rotary bat cave. This is where we're doing all of our R&D and all of our testing and building. And the three rotor. I bought this car, a clapped out chassis, barely a RX-7. This is the one that raced the unicorn. Uh -huh. uh, and you guys are actually the very first people to see this. This is the very first mold of the carbon fiber body. So you can see here what the fender's actually gonna look like. Otherwise, it's a fender which is two inches thick of uh, Bondo. Uh -huh. so, so when you were asking me if we had aerosols, I was like, Psh, <laughs> do we have aerosols? This is the E4 rotor. It is one of the first billet rotary engines in the world. All the fueling and all of the turbo numbers suggest that this thing was over 1550 to the wheels. My shop has a, a master plan. The four rotor, like I said before, is my magnum opus. That is the, the ultimate car that takes everything from all these other projects. But the ultimate dream is to have my own raw billet engine, producing more power and being more reliable. It was out of necessity. I was like, okay, well, these are CNC. Put my money where my mouth is. Yeah, it's no big deal. You just bought a CNC <laughs> machine. You gotta go through, me and Andrew gotta go through a bunch of stuff. We gotta fix the trailer. The trailer got damaged. Oh shit. So I guess we'll yeah. just unpack some stuff and have some fun. Yeah, so, yeah. so we'll roll these two cars out and then you can put a non-rotary vehicle in here. We're about to cut some very expensive custom carbon fenders. I want to give you some inspiration. <laughs> oh, what do you got? What do you got? And, and this was the last time I cut a, a fender. And I mean, this is, I, I don't mean to intimidate you, but this is a pr very precision <laughs> line. I can't believe I want to cut this thing up. So of course, while they're in there having fun and playing with cool tools and and the truck, I get to do something real fun and replace all this three quarter inch rotten plywood on our little gate here so we can pull the truck in and out. Yay! So what I'm doing is just going through a little nut and bolt check on the rear suspension. Saw some of the bolts were a little bit loose on the rear arms. We saw some movement in the wheel as we were tipping into the throttle. Want to go ahead and make sure all the bolts on all the linkage for the rear control arms and the knuckle are all tight. All right, back's all tight. What are we up to next, bud? Right now, I'm trying to change a frequency to the motor, having like a little bit of shudder when you give it a very light throttle input value, and the motor is wanting to shudder back and forth. So I'm trying to just change the frequency to kind of dumb that down and have a nice smooth throttle input to the motor. So going through, changing some parameter values, and then we're gonna do a little test drive to make sure it works. All right, another quick thing that I gotta do is, I haven't really allocated a switch to the power steering or the rear fans yet with the rear motor on you want to have the fans on you want to have the pumps running for the coolant but i wasn't sure if i wanted everything to come on as soon as i turned it on so what i ended up doing is reprogramming some of the buttons i'm going to use this first switch here to toggle our fans let's see if on our little guy here do we have a something for steering i don't see anything for steering well i'll just remember steering so reconfigured it sent the messages so here now i should turn our fans on so I'll just run that on the toggle and then there's our pump you can hear that annoyingly loud hydraulic pump uh, let's see if we can make this thing run any better oh, the vent so like it's got this weird like uh, shutter we get it, like, <laughs> there's, no, there's no seat yeah belts. no no belt I'm used yet. to that I'm used to that it didn't happen yet all right locked in ready to go <laughs> I 
Rob is pretty much the first guy to sit in our truck and feel a little pull. And he came back with a smile on his face, boy. Ooh. Yeah, this thing's sick. Okay, hey, we're Figuring bug busting. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm honored to be like part of that. Yeah, we, we literally got it out of the shop, took it on the block and put it on the trailer. There we go. It didn't like it. I gave it too much sauce. It keeps, it, I think it keeps drawing too much current. So I got to figure out how to tweak the minimum and maximum current allowed. Yeah, baby! So we are out of here. We got the fenders cut, suspension's kind of dialed in. It's not all there. And then we got some of the tuning done with Andrew. It was actually incredible. So this thing is starting to get there. We're almost have the ability to do a full load on it. Sure, we didn't have 100% success, but you know, I think we're gonna be as good as we could be for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, it was a blast. And we, we can't thank you from the bottom of our hearts yeah. how much you helped us. Thank you for yeah. the hospitality, Jeez, bro. Jeez, you took yeah, us in like brothers. It. My honor. It's fun because it, you know what, it was actually kind of a selfish moment for me because I got to enjoy watching the stress when it wasn't my fault. So I'm just glad that I got to be there for like inaugural experiences. So that's- You got to really take the first like rip in the truck. Yeah, yeah, that, I'm, I'm, I'm honored. So thank you, bro. Yeah, absolutely. Appreciate it, man. That means the world. You know, yeah. around here at Salvage Savage, we don't shake hands, we hug, so. That is so <laughs> I'm Stop hugging my boy. That. I had an excuse to grow yeah. everyone. <laughs> Yeah, this tire's looking sad. So we're gonna jack this thing up, get it changed out, and get back on the road, and get out of the valley. Oh, out here at Sonoma Raceway, Sonoma, California. This place is beautiful. Time to get back to work. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> I've been saying this thing everywhere. Oh, really? Every freaking where. All on the internet. Yeah. There she is. EV problems. Dead battery. <laughs> Do we need to put the jump pack on? Our key is dead. We don't have a fob. We have an entire laptop that we need to charge. Oh, right the now. laptop is dead. <laughs> All the way, baby. So our truck is pretty much all set up for now. We got our fin speed wheels on. That's pretty much it. That's that's pretty much all we're doing. Andrew's gonna do some tuning to the truck. We ran into our friend, Kevin. What's happening? That you saw over at SEMA. He brought out his electrolyte. He's been ripping some burnouts for us. It is awesome. Right now, I was just taking the brake regen off. Basically, when you put it to zero throttle position, it puts the truck into regen. I shut it off because it just, anytime you pull off the throttle 100%, it just wants to jerk you forward. So we got our tent set up here at Holly, but we chose the wrong side. Shout out to Flex Racing for our new tent. It is looking fly. They threw in this mighty nice back wall, represents some of our sponsors out there. Mike's in here burning diesel. What are you doing, man? Oh, just waiting on you guys. We're all set up over there. Tomorrow's a big day, so come on. It is day one. It is foggy, slightly soggy, and we are fishing, getting the truck ready for the show. We're going to jack it up just a little bit, drop the springs so it's in that show height, and then bolt our wide body kit on so that it looks like the EV truck you all know and love. We are here looking for our boy Kevin 
who's going to be doing a pass in his electrolyte and he said we can take a pass in his car if his wife lets us. Pass, like we can drive it or he's just gonna give us a ride along? Ride along. Oh, okay, I mean, okay. I, very different. I consider the uh, emotional support part of the pass. If he gets a good ET and you're in it, then technically you got a good ET. Success by association. That's what we're gunning for here. <laughs> if only we had seatbelts, this could be us. We have no seatbelts in the C10, so no fun is being had. All right, going for a hit in the electrolyte. <laughs> It'll be fun. This is only your second pass. Second pass. We're gonna do a line lock burnout. pretty dialed in for traction no wheel spin at all isn't that crazy that was great i thought for sure i'd get more a complete back of that car thank you and then the battery pack is under the so 12 5 again 1250 at 106 106 exact same numbers what are you doing mike we are making some more modifications to our carbon fiber wide body kit for our magazine shoot tomorrow Sir, you need to have safety glasses? I wish I had some. Uh, May I borrow the cutoff wheel? I couldn't really ask for safety glasses. I need some safety glasses. Oh, we didn't have them anyway. Safety brought to you by Holly Heatwave. You could be cool and be safe at the same time. We borrowed another hand grinder and cut like another three inches off our fender flares. So now we could actually turn the truck. So tomorrow morning, we're gonna get a chance to bring the truck out on the raceway to take some pictures for EV Builder's Guide. Day two, here we come. We're back, we're headed out on the track with the EV truck. We're going to get some, some beautiful shots on the raceway with the fog. Drivers, view, look at these guys. We got a chance to see Rich Rebuilds. I think he talked us into running our truck. Go ahead, buddy, jump in. You wanna drive? Sure, why the hell not? I'm not gonna say no. That's what it was all about, baby. Just have some fun, man. That's it, just have some fun. Oh, you sit low in this thing, huh? I love yeah. it. Yeah. jerky. I don't usually let other men drive my vehicles, but when I do, it's yeah, rich. I appreciate that, man. Dude, this thing is, dude, this thing has a, I don't care where, this thing has a, this is a ton of power. You could yeah. tell. This it's thing got, just wants to just light up the wheels it, and just go. It was fun. My goodness, man. Okay. Gucci. <laughs> Need power steering in this thing. So yeah, the suspension is, is oh, he's zero. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Not so much it's travel very either. bouncy. Um, so that's that, it's a drift truck. I still drive the out of this thing. Doesn't matter. Yeah. It's a smile. I smile. <laughs> oh yeah. Dude, this is fun, man. How could you not love this? I love it. Absolutely, guys, this, was, this was fantastic. This for real, for real. Fan. Well, we came, we had a blast. I'd say that's a wrap for Holly's first ever high voltage experience out here in Sonoma, California. Sonoma Raceway is absolutely epic. Man, I cannot wait to come out here next year when we get this truck all dialed in, suspension working, both motors working. Yeah, Felicia and I are gonna start our, our track back to Boca so we can get back to the shop and start working on some more stuff. Super blessed to be out here and sharing everything with you guys. I really do appreciate all you guys for following along and having a blast with us. I can't wait to get back to the shop and start a new build. Obviously, we gotta get the truck all dialed in, but what's next for us is coming your way. We'll see. We'll see you guys. Thanks for subscribing.
Boom! But to be fair, I've never ridden in a C10 and ever used seatbelts. Fair, fair enough. It is very foggy out. We are basically in the clouds, so you can't hear anything and you can't see anything. So it should be a very super exciting day. You got trailer in your head. We got a, we got a four and a half inch cutoff wheel, carbon fiber, fender flare, four beers. What could go wrong? How many fingers do you have just so we can get I'm the I'm currently working on 10. 